Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Hope you are all keeping well out there. Some more updates for you. This morning, well at long last, there is some news, and some more information on that. For reasons, Meghan Markle he is probably living her best life right now. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex could very well be living her best life right now. She and her husband, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex are currently sheltering in place with their son, Archie Harrison. The family of three is reportedly staying in a Beverly Hills mansion belonging to media mogul Tyler Perry. That is, until they find a more permanent home in Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles. Hunkering down at home as a result of COVID-19, with everything else that's been happening in Meghan and Harry's lives, may be working in the Duchess of Sussex's favor. Remember, the couple secretly relocated from Canada after officially stepping down as senior members of the British royal family at the end of March 2020. Ahead, discover reasons why the Duchess might be living her best life right now. She can spend quality time with Prince Harry and Archie. Having to stay at home frees up a lot of time for Meghan. On her now, defunct blog, the chick, she once said she likes to keep busy. What now COVID-19 has forced her to slow down a bit. As a result, she has more time to hang out with Harry and Archie. In honor of Archie's first birthday on May 6, 2020, the couple shared an adorable video of Meghan and Archie reading a book. We'd venture to guess the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been spending a lot of their time at home bonding with Archie. Meghan Markle doesn't have to deal with the press. An added bonus of being holed up at home is that Meghan doesn't have the paparazzi following her every move. Ever since she started dating Harry, she's had ups and downs and faced intense scrutiny and she's been vocal about the toll it has taken on her. The Duchess of Sussex may be happy to stay at home during COVID-19 simply because it means some time without the press. She can focus on giving back to the community. Meghan has a long history of giving back. Years before she started dating Harry, she'd been involved with various charities. While at home, the Duchess of Sussex has helped her local community. She and Harry have been seen delivering meals to Los Angeles residents and other non-profit organizations. It's likely been great for Meghan to focus on what's important to her. After all, wanting to give back and change the world is what she and Harry bonded over on their first date. Meghan Markle has more time to cook. The Duchess of Sussex has long been a foodie. She gushed about restaurants and various dishes on the TIG, and as a royal, she helped launch a charity cookbook. Staying at home, Meghan and Harry have reported we've been stocking their fridge with groceries from Trader, Jones and Whole Foods. Without the services of a chef, the Duchess of Sussex has supposedly been whipping up a lot of their meals. And judging by her longtime love of food and cooking, Megan could very well be loving the extra time in the kitchen. While COVID-19 has been devastating, for Megan it looks as if it may have given her the opportunity to focus on what she loves to do. Spend time with Harry and Archie, cook and give back. Another analysis. This is why Kate Middleton feels trapped over Megan and Harry. For Kate Middleton, Love means commitment to both her family and her country. Yet, while the Duchess of Cambridge knew, I do meant she would one day be queen, she never expected Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to step back from their duties as senior members of the royal family would alter her own responsibilities so drastically. As an insider told Tatler in May 2020, William and Catherine really wanted to be hands-on parents, but this situation has effectively thrown their three children under a bus, as the responsibilities on them now are enormous. The source also claimed Kate is furious about the larger workload. 
Of course she's smiling and dressing appropriately, but she doesn't want this. She feels exhausted and trapped. She's working as hard as a top CEO, who has to be wheeled out all the time, without the benefits of boundaries and plenty of holidays. However, an insider revealed that, despite Kate's current burnout, she remains incredibly kind to palace staff. One source said, In the palace, you hear numerous stories of the staff saying so, and so is a nightmare, and behaves badly, but you never hear that about Kate. But, as an insider said, it's Kate's ruthless survival streak that makes her well-suited to palace life. She keeps her head down because the prize of being queen is so great. She models herself on the queen and now speaks like the queen. Still, we hope she finds time to rest now and then. Kate Middleton and Prince William are stepping up more than ever before. After Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's move to Los Angeles, insider sources claimed Harry and brother Prince William weren't speaking to one another. However, in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic and their father's diagnosis, royal expert Katie Nichol told LMT YouTube channel that Harry and William have since reconciled. Furthermore, the international health emergency inspired William and Kate Middleton to let their guard down and shine as the future of the royal family. Nicole explained, We are a nation in the middle of a crisis, and it's times like this we turn to the royal family for support, comfort, and hope. And I think the Cambridges have really stepped up to the plate providing a nice dose of entertainment for us, and of course it's a real treat for royal fans seeing so much of the Cambridge children. It's uplifting for Britain, particularly for royalists, to see what the future of the royal family is going to look like. The royal family has gone to great lengths not to be seen to be aloof or distant or unrelatable. William and Kate have even taken their royal duties digital thanks to video chat technology. Together, the Cambridges called bingo numbers for the elderly residents of Shire Hall Care Home. William also spoke with healthcare workers to shine light on the social care sector and the positivity that comes out of this horrendous time. It's a family affair. Do Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle really hate each other? Ever since Meghan Markle joined the royal family, Rumors about her tenuous relationship with Kate Middleton have dominated international headlines. However, sources told Tatler in May 2020 that at least some of the strain came to the surface right before Meghan and Prince Harry's May 2018 wedding. According to one insider, Kate and Meghan clashed when the Duchess of Cambridge, in keeping with tradition, advocated that bridesmaids should wear pantyhose. The source said. Then there was an incident at the wedding rehearsal. It was a hot day, and apparently there was a row over whether the bridesmaids should wear tights or not. Kate, following protocol, felt that they should. Meghan didn't want them to. Middleton's impeccable manners guided her actions in that moment, but photos of her daughter Princess Charlotte indicate Markle ultimately won the fight because the child wasn't wearing tights. Despite their role, however, Kate's personal attire indicates she has great respect for her new sister-in-law. As Marie Claire noted, Kate recycled an ensemble she'd already worn twice, her cream, colored Alexander McQueen tailored coat for the ceremony. Kate first wore the outfit when Charlotte was christened in 2015 and began to trooping the color in 2016. Sources claim the self-aware Duchess knew her look would steal attention away from the bride, so she chose an old favorite to ensure all eyes were on Meghan. No matter the true nature of their relationship, that was certainly a classy move. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.